Yes, so good day and welcome once again to Talk Your Talk. It's always a pleasure being here. I'm always happy to be here. Now, what I'm going to talk about tonight, I'm going to get into it like right now, is the whole idea, okay, that I see going around that people are telling guys to get in touch with the feminine side. Now, what is your feminine side? I mean, I'm a big man. I mean, since growing up as a youth, I've never seen any feminine side in me. So, where is that feminine side? Okay, now, there is a lot of mothers, sisters, as a matter of fact, women on a whole, always enjoy telling guys you must you, you must cry you you should cry you must um, show your emotion don't have it all inside who tell you anybody having anything inside if they don't cry you understand nobody has ever told you that <clears throat> that people have things stuck up inside and when they cry they let it out no you understand it's not like that. What you or most of you women like to see is to see men groveling and then you feel powerful and you feel you're on an equal footage with them. That is why you all behave like that, most of you. If most women know, your, know their place, they would not be asking men to cry and break down and stuff like that. That is not your place. Okay, okay. So let me let me show you a narrative right here. In the beginning, Yahuwah created male and he created female. But how he created male? He created male independently, male, just male. Okay. Then he decided, well, he will create a female. So what he did, there is this part he had in a male. You understand? Which he took out. And take that part and make a female. So do you not think the female part already came from man to turn into one of you? Female? So you are the female side of men. Not men finding um, the feminine side of themselves, within themselves. No. We are straight men and we have nothing feminine about us. You understand? The whole idea of trying to convince men that they have feminine side, that's that illusion, that is wickedness, that is deceitfulness, that is devilish. You understand? Let me tell you something. <clears throat> if a man cry, if a man wash his clothes, if a man cooks his own food, if a man sweep his own house, if a man do whatever he do, you understand? He does it not because he have a feminine side. He does it because that is what human beings do to survive. You understand? If a man live by himself, he has to wash his clothes. He is not doing a woman's work. That is his work he is doing. That make him human. So how come? Ah. Where would he find that feminine side you are talking about? Within a man. Now let me tell you this. I've seen men grow up as men, have children, and then when they reach a certain age, they decide that they are women. Or they want to be women, or they have this thing inside them all the time, and now they want to release it. Be a woman. No, that is madness. That is crazy. You see, men are people. Some people behave like that because of the scars that people give them from since childhood. And the scars is not like bothering you or anything like that. The scars is making your child feel that he has a little woman inside him. And in reality, he doesn't have a little woman inside him. But you mess with his mind. So you leave that inside because you never explain anything to him. And what happens is, it's still there, it manifests itself, 
and then in older times when he get older he just becomes stronger than him there is a reason why the holy scripture said grow up a child in the way he should go so that when he is old he would not depart from it so if you have a child and he's a man child why confuse the child and tell him there is a possibility he could be a woman that is crazy if the most I give you a man child and you bring up this child as a man, not like a woman or just in case he might be a woman later on, you don't do this thing, that is confusion. If you have a daughter and she is a daughter, then you grow up that daughter the way a daughter should be grown up. It's as simple as that. Okay? It's as simple as that. Sorry about that. Now, you look around and you've seen a lot of women talking on social media. They want a real man. Yes, we want a real man. You don't have no real man. But then when they, the very same women, get a woman, get a man, they want to make him into a woman. You grow up your sons in such a way that he could go either way, either he be a woman or he be a man. And then he is a man. So you cause confusion in this child's life. When it, let me tell you something. You have a man child, you have to point it every day. You are a man. You can't tell your child, look for your feminine side. Because when you tell your child looking for your feminine side, it's the same children that usually grow up, they turn out to be pastors, and next thing you see they're having sex with men like if them as women. You understand? When you grow your child, grow your child because of his gender. He's a male, grow him up as a man, not like a woman or something between man and woman. You don't do that. That is, that is not right. That is an abomination. But then, I should say that this particular movement is up, I mean, it is peer-headed by women on a whole. And I do believe those kind of actions and activities usually have a ne negative effect on our society it's just like if they are out to destroy us as men i'm telling you seriously now let me explain something to you to tell you the honest truth and let me make it abundantly clear i love our women honestly i love our women in every way and I pray that at least strong men could rise up and educate them in the way they should go and don't brutalize them or anything take care of them I enjoy them so what I'm saying here is not to bash any women that is not my thing you understand if you think maybe I'm bashing women you're making a big mistake I'm speaking truth so let me tell you this in the Garden of Eden, based on the Holy Book, and if you believe in that, because most of you don't believe in these things at all, but just in case you believe in the Holy Scriptures and you accept the Holy Scriptures, you know in the beginning, a woman went and do her thing. Right? Let's say she actually get her food. Right? Yes, so she gets her fruit. And when the woman gets her fruit, what she did, she bring it for her man. So the evil one give her that fruit. It's like he could have given her a poison to give her husband and she gave him, she feed him and eat him and he kill him. Well, that is exactly what happened anyway. So she got that poison, eat of the poison, and then she bring it for her husband to to eat it also and 
He knew what she was doing was wrong. He knew that what she was doing was just totally wrong and it was an abomination. Yeah, because of how we feel up about her in the flesh. You understand? He decided he will partake in that fruit in her folly and go the way she goes. And she was okay with that. She knew what she did was wrong. But she went and she shared with her husband and caused his destruction. Now if you look at it through the ages, that is what women have been doing time memorial. And up to this blessed day, they are doing it. You leave a woman with your son, and I could guarantee you, most of the time, she turn your children against you. Most women does that. You understand? She will poison her children's mind against you. Now, I know a lot of women, they might say stuff like they grow their children for the sake of the grill. I'm not saying no. There are a lot of good women outside here. There are a lot of good women here. Okay? I know a lot of good women. But overall, I also see the destruction and the wickedness that is being caused on the face of the earth by women. Now, women, you have women in your house, in most cases, they poison yourself, they poison your children, everything. You understand? With their mentality. You cannot actually leave women up to everything. The point that I'm making is this, that we need men to be men so that they can take their place. And as a result of that, if they could take their place, then obviously the woman would not have a choice but to hold on to their place because they don't know their place. And that's the truth. They really don't know their place. Okay, and if you have them, you, you keep them running well, they will cause destruction. You know how much kingdoms that women destroy? A lot. It is said that even the great Tsar of Russia, that whole monarchy was destroyed because of a woman. Because of the kind of weakness that a man has for his woman. You see, mind you, there is a lot of women who know their capability and their influence on the face of the earth. And what they usually do, they curb it, they destroy it, and they be the kind of person that our Elohim wants them to be. But you have some of them, or the majority of them, they don't care about that. They just cut and go through and just destroy everything in their path. Now let me tell you this. Typical example. And most people who read the book, they know what it is. You understand? They know what it is to lost. They know what it is to lost. And they know that if a man look at a woman and he lost at her, they know that because most of them will tell you they are Christians. If he lost at her, it's like he committed adultery in his mind. But then when you look around, look and see how those women dress. Look and see how they dress. So when a man look at them, he could look at them with lustful eyes. And he seen. But they're not doing that all by themselves. It's Satan caused them to be doing that. Satan is causing them to do that. And when Satan do that, Satan uses these people to destroy our men. That is a fact. You could, anybody could say whatever they want, but that is exactly what is happening. And when you look at it very carefully, you will see definitely that it is true. Yes, we love our women, but most of the time when we look at it, our women is on a path of destruction. And if we are not careful, we go down that road with them. You understand? We have to be totally careful. We have to be really, really, really careful. Right? We have to be careful. We have to learn to be wise in relation to our women. Right? We have to be men. You have to be 
You can't brutalize those women with theory at your gun. You should don't ever do that. But then you have to be wise. Because they do things and most of them they are not even totally aware of the destruction that they cause them. Now let me tell you something. The Bible said something, eh? And what I realize is that in many in many instances, right? In many instances, most people grow up their children in particular ways that cause them to be the way they are. So let me just read something and that will tell you the kind of um, influence women have on our community, right? Okay, so we'll take it from Leviticus 19 and 29. Okay. King, uh, let's, read, let's read the King James Version. It said, Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a hoe, lest thy land fall to hold on and the land become full of wickedness. So let me just tell you this. The scripture tells you to prostitute thy daughter to make her become a hoe. Now, when that happens, when your daughter becomes a hoe and she starts prostituting herself, you will see the wickedness on the land. Okay, look at the wickedness that is happening right now. In every aspect of our society, we see wickedness. And what is the most things you see on TV these days? What is the most things you see on social media? Tell me, what is the most things you see? Women talking, walking naked, women prostituting themselves all over the place. When these things happen, that is what Satan used. So Satan used that. And that is all we see. And the more we see these things, you see, well, it's prostitution, it's homosexuality, everything's about the flesh, and those kind of things. Once you see all these things happen, it's hard to have a peaceful life in this community. You will see all different kind of confusion and evil happening in our community. Because these kinds of actions, you understand, it invoke a whole lot of evil in our community. And when women do those things, that means those women reach that point in life, they don't care anymore. Right? They don't care. They have no self-respect. It's like absolutely nothing. As a result of that, the whole community breaks up. Because... It seems to me that if women hold the, the head high and women be strong and wise, okay, and do not be prostituting themselves and their daughters and stuff like that, then these women will be the foundation of our community, of our society. They always are. You see, because let me tell you this women in days gone by, our people, we know, we have women home. You see, most women right now think that being home is like, is a dishonor. It's not what they want to do. But you see, there is a, a principle in that. There is a, there is a spiritual aspect of that. You understand? In when women being home and women being in the community, you see, women are the ones who hold the community, to, the community together. If you have a house and you have a wife in the house with children and the wife leaves, you don't have a home anymore. The woman holds down that community. You understand? It's the women that men go out there, men go to work. We go out, we work, we do whatever we do. But the reality is women are the ones who holds down the community. So when women start prostituting themselves and women start getting on, getting on like little holes and slots all over the place, what do you think will happen to the community? When women tell their men, hey, you guys have to be women. You understand? You guys have to look for your feminine side. What is actually happening in our community? That is the destruction of our community because women destroy kingdoms. You understand? We have to be totally aware of those things. You know, I don't know how 
you people will look at it, but the fact of the matter is, we have to be very, very, very careful. You see, the actions of our women have a big impact on our community. Unfortunately, most of them use their influence towards destruction. They use their influence to see if they could control men and do foolishness. There is no need to try to control men. You understand? There is no need for that. But they use their power, their little wires, I was calling, to see if they could twist men around their finger and use people for their own benefit. You understand? So when those kind of things happen among our women, what do you expect would happen in our society as the scripture say? When you guys prostitute yourselves and do all this wickedness, you bring wickedness upon the land. That's what you do. And most of you don't understand it because most men don't really want to stay with you guys because most of you people, I'm not saying guys are not wicked. I have men that are totally terrible, but what I am talking about is something completely different. You understand? Most people may not even want to stay around you because they can't marry to you. And the reason why they cannot marry to you even if you go to church with one or you go wherever you go and put a ring, you're not married because you, on your own meditation, right? You wouldn't understand what marriage is all about. You don't understand that marriage is two people coming together and being one. So even if you get yourself hitched with somebody, you do it for some personal, maybe individual reason. Not because you want to be with that person so much. Maybe you do it for, for material gain. So you never marry. That, all those things breeds evil in the land. You understand? Now most men find it is rather difficult to actually trust a woman. I'm not saying that you have to trust men. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying men are to uh, trust or anything. I'm just telling you why I'm sitting on that side. For now. Okay. So then we have to be totally careful. We must be careful. Our women have to be careful what they're telling their children. Because most of the time women usually be with their children more than the fathers. You understand? Even if the father is in the home the mothers usually be around those children most of the time. And most of the time she have a bigger or greater influence on the children. So then you have to be careful how you talk to your children, what you tell them. You understand? You have to be careful about that. Because Satan is definitely using our women to destroy our community. That is what he has always done. He always done that. That sit, sit and that evil entity or whatever it is always uses with our women to mess up our community. You know, because there is a reason why they say that women are the weaker vessel. Yes, you are the weaker vessel. You could play strong and say that you are a strong woman, but you are the weaker vessel. And the truth of the matter is, you are easily manipulated. Very easily manipulated because I don't see it like normally just like that. You will have a husband and a man will talk to you and he could manipulate you and you go with him. And that's a fact. I'm not saying every woman are like that. But most are like that. Somebody will come out with some church and you have all this charisma and everything. He catching each and every one of you going inside the church. And 
and you're gonna give him all the money you work for and everything else inside him. You are easily manipulated. And that has been going on with you for the longest while. But what I am saying is this, that true knowledge, true understanding, true prayer towards our Elohim and the right man in your life, you will completely see life differently. And every day, your mission will be to get rid of this negative trait that you have within you, that negative trait of destruction. I mean, that might sound very crazy to most of you, but that is the absolute truth. Do not prostitute thyself. Nor your daughter. Don't do that. Because that is where Eve will come on the land. Eve prostituted herself. She prostituted herself with Satan. You know? And the fruit of her prostitution. She brought it to her husband and he died. You know? It's like you go down the road and you get AIDS and you go and you bring it for your wife or your husband or something. You have to be careful. Every step you have to be careful. Everything we see. Most of our women doesn't care what jump out of their mouth. They just see it anyway. You have to be careful. You have to be careful, people. Just try to live justly. Try to live righteous. That is what we have to do. Remember, Job is Job. Why if you come and tell him and curse, curse Yahuwah, man. Curse him and die. Who cares? Craziness. Women. Remember Joseph when he was in Egypt? A woman, she looked at his righteousness, she looked at his uprightness, and decided she wanted to have sex with him. And he had to leave his clothes and run away. You understand? Why is it that every time you all be around a, a just and a righteous man. Why is it that you are always trying to bring him down? It's not you all. It's the devil that's using you all to bring down the just and the righteous. But the just man have to be upright. Unfortunately, not most of you are not. Most, most of our men are not. But then, we have to learn to be upright in our ways. We have to learn to be wise in the sight of our Elohim, not in our own eyes, because we're just foolish. You understand? So we have to learn to have the spirit of our Elohim so we could at least see the defects in our women and try to better them. Because the more we better make them better, is the more our society will be better. There is a reason why they say to better the community it begins at home because that's where the woman is and that's where she should have been. But then if she is not, then that means you don't have a home because the whole objective was to get all our people scattered and they did because they get the woman out of the house now. So you don't have a home anymore. Just have something like a military barracks, maybe. Okay, so let us learn to love each other. Let us learn to grow our children the way they should go. Grow our children. If our children is men, let them stay men. Don't put pressure on our men, children, to cry and break down and act like little girls. Don't do it, women. Don't do it. If you have to grow your son, grow your son as a man, not a little boy girl. You understand? Do that. Grow your daughter as daughter. If you want to 
you want, you want to see feminine side, make daughters. That's feminine side, not male. Male is not feminine side. So don't tell your children that. Don't mess with your children's head like that. You know, treat your children right. Tell them the truth. Tell them who they are. You know, whole lot of foolishness going on in this world today. We have to stop that. Now, right now in this world as it is, I understand it have certain laws passed out there that if a child born a boy, he could decide which gender he want to be. After he born a boy, I a girl. This is crazy. This world is a bond in witchcraft and filth. Crazy. You know, we have to jump out from that and be righteous and be peaceful. Give praises to the most high Yahweh. You know, and take our women under our wing. If, for fellas, I tell you, if you see a woman and you're interested in the woman, talk to the woman and try to uplift the woman in spirit. Let her be the better version of herself. Sometimes you don't have money. If you don't have money, you just don't have. You give what you have. And if it's wisdom you have to give, that is what you give. You know? And if because you don't have money, she don't want it, then that is okay. But you do what you have to do. You, you have to do. You do the just thing. You do the righteous thing because that is what is expected of you in our community by our Elohim. Because what we are looking to do, we are looking to find the old ways. That is where we will find our peace. So we just got to do what we got to do. We don't get everybody because most people are so caught up in the entertainment and the foolishness, they wouldn't see what is happening right under their nose. But then we still have to tell them. Okay. So, I didn't expect this video to be that long, but I touch on many different uh, feelings and other topics and stuff like that. But I hope that that video is okay with you in that sense that you learn something from from the video or even that video is a kit at least for you to to learn to go learn or find out other things then that is good if that happens then i think my work has been had been done in that video until the next video so be at peace be blessed i will most definitely see you in another one